Welcome, and thank you for joining the Live in Divine Harmony podcast. I'm Carmen, your divine synergist of heart's joy. I'm an awakened person of purpose. I have a passion for life. I'm a speaker, author, podcast host, and a numerologist. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell for notifications so you never miss another episode. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Live in Divine Harmony podcast, another episode this week. Today, we're going to talk about the March numerology and energy update. Thank you so much for tuning in. And, you know, this month is one of my favorite months because, well, it's my birthday month. And when I say that, I mean, I celebrate all month long. And growing up, I typically didn't really celebrate on my birthday. I was normally at a game cheerleading growing up. And I always felt like people forgot about my birthday. And I feel like birthdays are a very special time for people because it's when you get to celebrate yourself, you get to celebrate all of your accomplishments from the previous 12 months and set new intentions for your new year. Because for me, especially when you look at your personal numerology, you get a personal new year. It's one of my favorite things. So welcome March. And we're going to talk about the energies of March, looking at the numerology. We're also going to talk about the planetary alignments. We have an upcoming equinox this month. We have an upcoming lunar eclipse at the end of this month. And I'm excited for how things are going to shift. And it's funny. I always feel like March is a big pivotal month for a lot of people, not just for me personally, um, because you typically find pivots around the time of your birthday. It, It just feels like a really pivotal month for a lot of people. And, you know, some people believe that this really would have been the beginning of the true calendar and was the beginning of the true calendar until everything was changed. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about the numerology energy for March, 2024. So always remember in 2024, it's an eight energy year and you can go back and listen to the podcast I did that talked about the eight energy and how it's going to be impacting you this year. Always keep in mind during these numerology and energy updates that these are the collective energies. So depending on what your personal energies are, that is going to shift what you are going to experience um, each year and each month as well. So when you look at March, we're looking at a three energy and a two energy. And as I tapped into the energies for March, For me, it's a time where we are speaking our truth in relationships, and we also get to experience shifts this this month. I almost said this year. Of course, this year. It's definitely an expect the unexpected year, and we're going to experience shifts, and that's frankly because of the eclipse season. You know, the eclipse season, um, there's always a lead-in period into the eclipse season, and then the eclipse starts. And then there's a two week period. And so keep all of that in mind as we are talking about the energies for March. So when I talk about relationships, it's the relationship with anyone and everyone. And there's different types of relationships. There's friendships, there's partnerships, there's business partnerships, there's romantic partnerships, there's friends, there's family, and there's acquaintances. That is still a relationship. There's neighbors. That is still a a relationship. And the most important relationship that we tend to forget about is the relationship that you have with yourself. And what I saw was that it's a time for you to get real with yourself, to truly finally accept yourself, to love yourself unconditionally. And, you know, so often we talk about love, I love you, love you, 
And I feel like that phrase gets thrown around a lot. And in this case, I'm talking about true unconditional love where there is no judgment. Jesus loves us unconditionally. There is no judgment. And most of us have not experienced that kind of love before. And so we don't know what it is. We don't know what it looks like. We don't know what it feels like. And so it's hard for us to show up in unconditional love for others or for, I'm sorry, for ourselves, let alone for other people, because how we show up for ourselves is what we are creating for those who are around us. And this really feels like a time where there's going to be things that come up and that's part of the shift, right? It's also a time for you to heal yourself, which is shift. And you really, the healing's going to come first because when, you, at, when and as you heal, you start to accept yourself and fully love yourself unconditionally. For me, those three actually go hand in hand all together. And accepting yourself where you are, for who you are, as you are, that is huge. And for some people, it may be the first time that you've gotten yourself there and that you look in the mirror and you're like, yeah, I may not be where I think I should be. You know, you have the, the shooting all over yourself and you're like, and it's okay because I'm here now and I know where I want to go. And you're fully committed to having that happen. So keep that in mind throughout this month of March. As you're coming in contact with those around you and really show yourself grace, because again, how you show up for yourself is how you're going to show up for other people. And it's really what you create with other people and in your life. And as you do this, as you do are along your healing process, as you accept yourself, as you fully unconditionally love yourself, your energy frequency will shift and it will, it'll shift into a higher frequency. And then that's even going to shift for the people, places, things, situations that then enter into your life. And that's where that shift comes into play. Now, do we know what it's going to look like? Absolutely not. Nobody does. This is going to look different for each person. And don't compare yourself to anybody else. Keep in mind, everyone is experiencing these energies. And because you're listening to this podcast, you have a leg up because you understand Um, that there's something else going on and you are, you know, starting to take responsibility and say, you know what, I'm actually going to work with these energies and I'm going to make sure that I'm trying to figure out how I want to say this. You're making sure that your intentional about what you're doing in life, what you're doing with your time and truly working and harnessing the energies of the universe. Because before you may not have heard about any of this and you were in that victim mindset of, oh, this is just happening to me. Why is this happening to me? What is going on? And it wasn't doing you any good. Your wheels were spinning. It was almost like you were on a hamster wheel. Okay. So that alone is something to celebrate for where you are right now versus where you were a few months ago, a few years ago. So make sure that you celebrate that, celebrate that about yourself. The, the reason why I say that it's speaking your truth in relationships, there is The three energy, which is truly speaking your truth, speaking up, sharing who you are. It's your way of expression. How will you be expressing yourself 
And twos is relationships. It's co-creation. And start to look at that and just notice it because now that I've brought it into your work, into your awareness, it's now from your subconscious into your conscious mind. So let's talk about the planetary alignments for the month of March and how this is all connected. We will have the second super new moon in Pisces on March 10th. And Pisces energy, first off, it's the last sign of the Zodiac. And I look at that as a wrap up. And also that energy also embodies the rest of the Zodiac. The other signs as well, it's a very, I would call flowy. It's a harmony energy. And when I say harmony for me, it's that ebb and flow of the water and the, of the tides coming in the tides coming out of the ocean. And it's a spiritual energy and it's really your divine feminine energy. It's your, it's your, it's your way of being, how are you showing up? And yes, you need action. And I've, I've talked a lot about this and it's truly, where is your energy frequency? And so during this new moon in Pisces on March 10th, allow yourself to really sit in the energy of whatever it is that you want to experience in your life. And feel those feelings. I really want you to sink into the feeling of those feelings. Don't get so tied up in the what it's going to look like and definitely let go of how it's going to happen. And sit into that energy of how it's going to feel um, because you're experiencing it right now. And this is this is a time for you to manifest that. This is a time for you to start to create it. And new moons are a time to set your intentions. So yes to writing them down. Yes to whatever rituals you like to do. And really sink into the energy of going within and focusing on how you're feeling. Where is your frequency? Because you can say all the affirmations you want all day long. And if you don't believe it, and if you are still... Maybe there's some subconscious tapes running in the background, then that's your competing, that's competing with what you're saying for your affirmations or what you're writing down for your intentions. So the other thing is start to ask yourself, what is it that you think is possible? And what do you think is impossible and why? Now, I did get those questions from Spirit Daughter. I thought those were great questions to think about during this time in the super new moon um, on March 10th. Now, the global equinox will happen depending on where you are in the world. It'll happen either March 19th or March 20th. And so either you're going to be shifting into the spring or you're going to be shifting into the into the autumn season. And this is always a time for rebirth. And I love to think of alignment. You're simply getting back into alignment with maybe somewhere you've been out of alignment. And if that is the case, because of the eclipse coming up here, the eclipse will happen. Um, the first one will happen March 24th, 25th. So Allow yourself to shift, to move as much as you can with these shifts. It's simply a realignment to get you back to where you need to be. And that may happen around the global equinox time. And it also may happen right after that as well. Because we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Libra on March 24th and 25th. And I love how these all line up because the Libra energy is balance. And I don't teach balance um, because balance is a perfectionism energy. And so 
how can you again find the alignment um, in your life, whatever that's going to look like? So the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, March 24th, 25th. Again, it depends on where you are as far as um, which day it's going to fall on. And that energy is going to be intense. It's going to be emotionally intense. It's going to be energetically intense because not only is it a full moon with, with it being an eclipse, the eclipse just magnifies it even more energies for this time is going to really bring us back to ourselves. It goes back to who you are authentically. Are you accepting yourself? Are you unconditionally loving yourself? And it starts to shift us back into that alignment. So let go of whatever it is that you need to let go of. And I would always bless and release it as well. Remember that this month is about the relationship that you have with yourself, speaking your truth, accepting where you are, unconditionally loving yourself and healing healing, doing your personal healing. So know that you have the power within you, that you don't have to seek it outside of yourself, that you have everything that you already need inside of you. We are not disconnected from God. We are not disconnected from the universe. We are not disconnected from Jesus. We don't have to go to heaven to have those connections. That's what we've been taught by church, by society, because that strips you of your power. And so remember that this month, remember how powerful you really are and tap into that energy throughout the month. And especially during this new moon and during this full moon, especially during the full moon eclipse as well. And you're invited to join the Creating a Life You Love online community. It's free. You can access it anywhere online, hearts-joy.mn, vermindynetworks.co, or you can access it from a free app on your phone as well. We'd love to have you join us in there. And um, I'm here to answer any questions that you might have. And let me know, how are you feeling? How are you feeling during this time? What are your struggles? What's coming up for you during this time? And together we can help move you through that. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. Until next week, sending you much love. Take care.